It must be painful, Prince Harry will likely feel snubbed after he was left out of the Queen's moving COP26 speech, for all the cash-making activities in the name of protecting the nature in the US, his biographer says. The Queen failed to mention Prince Harry as she used her powerful plea to world leaders over the climate crisis to praise Prince Philip and gush over Prince Charles and Prince William for carrying on her late husband's work to protect our fragile planet. The Queen said, It is a source of great pride to me that the leading role my husband played in encouraging people to protect our fragile planet lives on through the work of our eldest son Charles and his eldest son William. I could not be more proud of them. She included a poignant nod to her advancing years, saying many involved in the Glasgow summit, including herself, would not see the fruits of their actions, adding, none of us will live forever. But she stressed, we are doing this not for ourselves but for our children and our children's children, and those who will follow in their footsteps. And Angela Levin, who spent a year accompanying Harry on his royal duties, said the royal can't have it both ways. I imagine he could well feel snubbed, she said. I think he's very sensitive now about his family, and I think he's between a rock and a hard place, but he's on a one-way road. He was very close to his father and his brother, but is so rude about them now, and he may well feel that he's missing out. He's missed out on this climate change discussion, which he's trying to work for as well. But you can't have it both ways. You can't be independent but part of it. Snubbed. I don't believe he's grasped that. Her Majesty pre-recorded a speech for world leaders after doctors ordered her to rest for a fortnight. She said she couldn't be more proud of both Charles and William, and told delegates, we none of us will live forever. Pointing out that other royals, including Camilla and Kate, also weren't mentioned, Ms. Levin said, the Queen is succinct, articulate and says things from the heart. I couldn't see why Harry would be mentioned. He isn't a member of the royal family now. He's doing his own thing. I wouldn't think he should be included, he's stepped down from being a working royal. What he does is for himself and Meghan, he doesn't deserve to be mentioned. Harry and Meghan have faced criticism for promoting green living, while themselves travelling around on a private jet. The Duke is reportedly concerned for his grandmother after she spent a night in hospital and made a decision to temporarily withdraw from engagements. He is reportedly planning a return to the UK within weeks so his daughter Lilibet can meet her namesake. Unsubstantiated reports in us weekly reveal the Duke of Sussex felt helpless from his home in Montecito, Louisiana after learning his grandmother had been hospitalized. It's claimed he's been checking in nonstop to ensure she is feeling better. But Ms. Levin said, if he is that terrified then I'm sure he will come over. There aren't any restrictions to that anymore. Her Majesty was seen out in Windsor yesterday behind the wheel of her Jaguar, a sighting that will doubtless reassure Brit's concern for her health. Her praise for her son and grandson came just days after Prince Charles spoke affectionately in public about William, but again failed to mention Harry, as he said, I am very proud of my son, William, for his growing commitment to the environment and the bold ambition of the Earthshot Prize. As his relationship with his British family remains strained because of repeated bad shots from the US, Prince Harry and Meghan have also been vocal about the need for action on climate change but are yet to give a statement as politicians and business leaders gather in Glasgow to thrash out a deal. The couple have also been branded hypocrites for their use of private jets as well as their recent decision to publicly and financially back an ethical Wall Street fund that invests in oil and gas.